Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in Olympiad Workout Series and Target IOQ 2021 and this is a counterintuitive challenge of a two combs actually dragged against each other and it's a question uh, from 2014 Estonian Finnish Olympiad and I like this question because it's a problem which can be analogously done from a topic that you don't see on the screen, right? It doesn't look like a topic uh, 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 from a particular chapter. Okay, so um, let's go ahead with the formal wording. Here it is. If you want to read the question on your own on the top and look at the diagram, I would uh, suggest you'd go ahead and do so for five minutes and then do come back for the very quick solution that I'm going to give uh, for this particular problem. Okay, so, and for those who are trying, I would uh, request you to take a snapshot of this and try to enlarge the screen and then watch the picture while you are actually trying out the question. Okay, so because the question in, uh, in the picture is drawn to scale and you are expected to use that to your advantage. Okay, so here we go. Two combs are placed behind each other as in the figure. The gray comb is moved with a velocity of one centimeter per second. So this is the gray one. And the black comb is held still. So this top one is the black one, which is held still. And the gray one from behind is being pulled towards right with one centimeter per second, okay? With what velocity are the dark spots shown seem to be moving? So as a person who is watching this event, right, there are some dark spots. You could see the teeth from the uh, gray comb actually uh, overlap with the teeth from the black one. And there are some places where the teeth are making sure that there's no light passing through as you're watching. Whereas here, this is a light passing through and this is not a dark spot. So this is a dark spot. There are dark spots elsewhere also. He's asking us, as you move this black backside comb, gray comb, the dark spots should be moving with some velocity in terms of this one centimeter per second, right? So how much is that value? He's requesting us to calculate, okay, right. <clears throat> I hope you have given it an enough try and then let's move and enlarge the diagram and see the solution. So I have marked some numbers to enable us to understand the solution, right? So the uh, thing is, uh, whatever dark spot you could see, the one here, this one is again resembling the same and this one is resembling the same and here and here. I've labeled them for my convenience as one, two, three, four, five. Okay, right. And since this pattern of teeth is repetitive on both of the combs, even these dark spots, we can easily argue should be repetitive in X axis direction. That repetition can be considered as a wave. And therefore I can define a wavelength for this particular pattern. Okay, right. You can consider this repeats here and here. So the gap between these numbers that I have written on the top can be considered as a wavelength for the wave train that is traveling as you watch this. Okay, now in order to estimate with what velocity is this wave train or the dark spots moving, you can also mark the teeth on the gray comb. The gray comb is behind. You could see I marked for this dark spot I've taken as reference. I started with a zero and between the two dark spots from second number to third number, how many gray teeth are there? If I carefully count them, there are seven gray teeth distances, okay? Which means for every teeth movement of this particular uh, gray comb, you end up having seven such gaps moving as you move along, right? Which means if I move one teeth along, again, this pattern would be newly formed, but the pattern gap would be moved from here to here, right? So which means for every one centimeter per second, now I'm converting from one teeth per second to one centimeter per second, you could argue that there will be seven centimeter per second movement of this particular dark spots. Okay, so that is what I'm going to write down, right? So I have slightly uh, zoomed out of that particular uh, diagram so that I can write what I said. So as the gray comb moves, the pattern of dark spots, these one, two, three, four, five, has a wavelength of seven teeth of gray comb. So the one that I've counted here. So the velocity of the gray uh, comb teeth or the velocity of uh, what I should say here, the dark spots, okay, right? So not the gray comb, the velocity of the dark spots should be equal to the seven centimeter per second. It should be moving with seven times the speed of this particular gray comb. Now, what should be the direction of this particular uh, dark spots movement? So as you imagine I have marked a line on that particular gray comb. Okay, just imagine there is a line. And as you move this gray comb out, right? You can try this with two combs at your home also. It's very easy to uh, ascertain, right? That luxury, you don't have it in the exam. So let's try doing this with this particular diagram itself. So as this uh, gray comb moves to the right, imagine this line actually moves out. 
and these patterns that you are watching right now reduce in number, right? So uh, you would start finding only patterns to the right of the screen and the left ones are going to go off because the overlapping reduces, right? So as you keep going, you can imagine in your mind that these numbers, one, two, three, four, five, start reducing. Uh, next instant, you will have only two, three, four, five, and the next instant, three, four, five, and the next four, five, and finally the five will disappear. So you can imagine that these one, two, three, four, five kind of a sequence is red, uh, disappearing into this line, a window of observation or something. So these dark spots, I, I would uh, presume, are moving in the reverse direction of this. So not only it is seven centimeter per second, but it's moving backward because these numbers disappear into this particular line. So with respect to this line, this entire stuff is going in in the leftward direction. Okay. I hope you understood the way the question is done. And this is kind of questions that uh, IOQ could uh, fall back upon because it's nice, creative and counterintuitive. Okay. I hope you want to check out more of the Olympiad workout series. The links are in the playlist uh, and the playlist is in the description below. And you also can check out the rest of the series that are running parallelly in this channel. Resolved series solves droughts which are not attacked in the question, uh, uh, textbooks and generally asked by most of the brilliant students. AITS Select series also talks about all the different concepts that are coming up in the different coaching center examinations I have put forward in one particular series. Pathfinder Solutions, we all know, uh, are very much a step zero for going through the Olympiad and all. So please make sure you go through these series. And in case you like this video, do like it and share it with your peers so that I get more subscriptions to my channel. I would like to come up with more and more videos in this particular series as we move along. And um, I hope you'll be there with me, uh, giving, uh, giving me company, right? And the support that you have already done. Okay, thank you. See you in the next video.